Hi listeners, welcome to your daily cup of coffee with Charu where hopefully with a hot cup of coffee we discuss how to tackle the day ahead based on the astrological aspects of the day. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. Today we're going to cover a major aspect that is going to color most of this week and I'm going to go sign by sign so you can see how to ha- how to really make use of that. This is the day of responsible action and it sort of is kicking off the tone of the week that is coming ahead of us. This is procrastination be gone. We have Mars and Saturn together. So this is the day of responsible actions where some serious work can be done while personal themes will continue to evolve in the background. I spoke about those personal themes in the weekly video which you should watch. It is the perfect example of a good work from home day where personal things are evolving in the background while you are able to concentrate and focus on getting some th- some things done with mars and positive aspect with saturn and next to north node we should look to kick off monday with something that seemed previously really tough to achieve it's also a good day to get approval of authority for a tough project or support of someone look to make progress in fields or projects or personal life initiations you are relatively inexperienced on but it has potential materially emotionally and mentally to grow you anything that needs you to sort of rise to the occasion should be done today tomorrow or at least kick started today and tomorrow we are coming towards a very volatile aspect of verbal spars around 23rd and 24 25th 26th of march so use today to get something through if it needs negotiation if it needs agreement this rise to the occasion project should be in the field of writing reading this is gemini energy mars is in gemini right now so in the field of writing writing reading reporting fact finding documentation contract completions negotiations sales socializing networking local clubs network connections acting steep learning curve on information or some practical skill set would be very effectively uh, acquired right now this is related to sports walking pacing music comedy essentially some sort of creation that requires your communication skills that requires an objective mind possibly use of analytics or stats some writing or possibly selling along with movement of the body either through a vehicle through a through commute or local walk and if ideas are not coming easy today walk or pace and they will flow towards you add a little bit of whim of imagination creativity or talk to someone about it if it's getting too dry because saturn tries to make us very serious about what we are working on be discerning don't take on other people's fair share of workload focus on one thing mars and gemini tends to take on too many projects today is the day to create focus around that at least one thing at a time is what you should be focusing on even if you're focused on multiple projects now let's go through very very quickly by sign gemini this is related to you this would be related to your job related to a project where you are visible or your name is attached to it and you'll have to sort of you want to you want to do something that you know requires a lot of guts requires has a lot of coming up the curve quick uh, as i mentioned in the introduction uh, so this is all about you and it could also be related to your physical health because it is in your sign mars and our sign gives us guts to do things we have not done before and it comes here once in 2 years and mars and north node is a very rare combination that comes in once in 12 uh, once in 19 years so make use of this to to sort of this week initiate certain actions which will have a impact on your life path Taurus this is money for you this is source of income so there could be some gutsy project related to multiple sources of income maybe you are initiating a multiple source of income this is good for connecting with people for financial transactions this is about buying something that could be of very uh, very good quality or very important to you <laughs> you you might learn some skill that will enhance your resources it's a good time to get into that aries for you this is the house of mind so increase in communication skills quick mind start something which is related to communication using hands a lot clever conversations with people good sales uh, breakthrough very uh, adept 
uh, changes in media, marketing, journalism, short messaging. Uh, this is very chatty energy for you, Aries. So it's a good time to sort of get something which requires your uh, requires you to sell something, requires you to say something, convince people, get a lot of communication projects through, get a lot of social media projects through, and you could learn a lot of everything in a very short period of time with this. Um, Pisces for you, this is home and family. There could be sales or broker of property. Maybe you need to make a breakthrough when it comes to property. And this could be a very good energy to, to sort of, you know, make a breakthrough when it comes to real estate matters or family matters. This could also be you just getting out of your comfort zone. Home is also comfort zone. So when Mars is in our fourth house, we do things that we that require a lot of guts, require you to get out of your comfort zone. And you might be making some very comic, very destiny linked uh, changes in your living situation, in your home situation at this time. And it's, it's a very good aspect for working from home, from creating a lot of communication devices, etc. that you might need at home. So putting in some kind of effort through home and family would be the focus for you, Pisces. For Aquarius, this is related to hobbies, passions, maybe uh, there is a business project which is which you're very very creatively invested in and it requires you to write it requires you to communicate it requires you to think a lot this is self-expression so you'll be putting a lot of energy into your self-expression your creative juices are going this is also giving birth to something that you're passionate about in your personal life it could be a romance it could be a child or just putting in a lot of effort and energy into what you love and desire in your love life and in your uh, life of your children. This is activities that we do for fun, Aquarius. So putting in a lot of effort and making some karmic changes, some destiny changes in the house of hobbies, in your house of passions, in your house of love, in your house of... Uh, it, it, this is game of chances. So maybe you're playing a game of chance when it comes to some commercial matter where you're betting on your creativity, where you're betting on your talents here and you, that requires a lot of guts and you're making a move on that. Capricorn, for you, this is in the house of work projects and health. Some significant bold move to be made over there can be made now. Uh, this could be you taking a bold step, doing a project that you have not done before. This could be you completely changing and detoxing your diet and going for like a fitness routine, which is different from you. You might be reading about efficiency you might be reading about diet this could involve a lot of discussions around it maybe you're making a new contact which is very comic in nature which could be a co-worker or could be a person who's reporting to you some sort of new business practice could be set up which adds efficiency to your life and adds intellect to the work you're doing Sagittarius for you this is relationships this is marriage this is contract so there might be some sort of work going into media marketing or even dating or flirting to get a relationship through very bold moves in the uh, in the area of negotiation diplomacy clients relationship marriage contract something which is 101 basis it's not a crowd you are sort of negotiating something on a 101 basis and getting that through it's a very good week to get that through talking thinking about agreements long-term contracts and getting that set in stone which will change your destiny path in some way Scorpio for us, this is all about going deeper into financial and soul matters. So we might be able to get over some phobia, some sort of, you know, thing that, that some addictive hold up that was holding us back. So it Mars over here gets us in a bold territory to go deeper, either about financial matters or about matters which require you to do a lot of research. This is self-analysis. This is you going deeper into something and having a breakthrough. In joint financial matters, it will put you in a very, very strong position to get your fair share, whether it is financially or emotionally. So you could use this week to sort of make a breakthrough when it comes to your joint uh, uh, relationships as well. This is a rebirth. So when our ruler comes in a house of rebirth, we do things that are not easy and we are able to sort of break out of that and move to a more adventurous part of our cycle, a more adventurous part of our chart and life after we have got, uh, after we have cut ties with something dark essentially, which might have happened in the past as well. 
Libra for you. Mars is in your house of adventure right now. So along with Saturn and North Node, you can make some breakthrough when it comes to your belief system, your positive thinking. This is in the this could be in the uh, it, 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 on the side of publishing something. You making everybody your viewpoint knowing you will be very strong when it comes to your communication, when it comes to teaching, when it comes to planning something which is big picture in nature and your positivity will rub off on other people you could use this to convince people about your perspective by teaching you can inspire people about something you can learn from others and teach others this is the house of higher mind where higher skill skills are acquired and decimated to people so you it, this is very good for journalism very good for publication very good for commerce which requires you to interact with people who are different from you Virgo, for you, this is happening in your 10th house of career. You are the boss of everyone. With Mars over here, you have a dominant position at work. So this is the time to make a reputation of a well-informed, intellectual, good communication manager who takes people along. You'll have a very good administrative uh, hold on and authority over the work that you're doing. So you can actually get something very significant in your career through, which you have not been able to do before possible. It requires a lot of skills. And it requires you to connect people for working for advertisement and to get a change done, which requires some bold steps. Speaking, writing, reading would be required as a skill set. Convincing people would be required as a skill set in this profession that you're trying to get the breakthrough on. Leo, for you, this is happening in the house of fraternity, benefit from elite group, breaking through an elite group, forming a lot of connections, going into a social network or a platform that you have previously not been able to break through in. This is the time when we sort of make certain bold steps and bold statements over a social media account, over a platform or to a community of influential people. And this will require a lot of connections. You, It will require you to connect with a lot of people and you're going in with a much bigger vision you can go in with a much bolder vision into this community into these new social network connections that you're making cancer for you this is 12th house foreign travel living in a foreign country you might be making a breakthrough in that direction or it could be ready to go and make some very important communication creative and media linked opportunity that you've got you're sort of working on it maybe behind the scene it's the time to get over our fears and do that and you'll create something out of this world as you're working behind the scene this could also be linked to charity your intelligence in some way helps others in a charitable position your writing your speaking can feel people better can make people feel better about themselves and you might feel at this time, because Mars is in, tw in your 12th house right now, that there are a lot of behind the scene activities that need to be tackled, linked to your own inner world, linked to fantasy, linked to bed pleasures even. So a lot of activities happening behind the scene right now, because your soul is sort of requiring to work on itself. And you might be busy with that through meditation through chanting through yoga in some ways or you might be writing behind the scene or you might be creating something behind the scene and that requires a lot of energy from you at this stage and it is something very comic very much like you fit in into the picture by doing something this is the house of hand of god so some opportunity which comes out of the blue to you is given to you it turns out to be a blessing in disguise in some ways at this time so i'll i'll work on these things without expecting a lot of hoopla at this stage because it's happening behind the scene so that's what i have for all the signs we did a long video today but today is monday we are set now for the rest of the week i'll see you in the next video now thank you